Good morning. Welcome back to Fly Tying Up Close. In a previous video, we snelled a hook to be used uh, as a trailer in uh, an intruder or a bunny leech. Uh, this is the final product. I used some um, six weight fly line as demonstration just so you could see how that's done. Uh, you can find that video at Fly Tying Up Close. Uh, today we are going to attach the eyes to the hook uh, prior to attaching the snelled um, trailer hook. So I have already uh, jammed the thread on the hook. You notice I've left the front of the shaft of the hook bare. This is heavy thread to lash the eyes. Uh, you only want the uh, uh, head thread and the uh, uh, wing materials tied in here, not the eyes. <clears throat> Position the eyes over the shaft of the hook, <clears throat> perpendicular to the shaft. <clears throat> Go across the eyes several times and then just pull the eyes underneath the hook. Hold it perpendicular again go in the same direction and you will have an X across lashing on the eyes and they will stay in place easily just like that now there are two ways to finish this lashing move the eyes where you want make sure they are even across the shaft of the hook there are two lashings one is the X lash which just goes X back and forth over and under however you want to do it X back and forth this is great but to increase the strength of this lashing I use a figure 8 lashing go over the barbell and under the hook over under over under over under do this six or eight times when you're done with that side go over the shaft and under the barbell over the shaft and under the barbell the combination of using these different lashings to secure the eyes to the hook is much stronger than using just one Still, you see the, the head uh, area of the fly is bare. Cover all of the thread with uh, Sally Hansen. Let it dry, and you're ready to attach the trailer hook. When I actually tie um, flies with trailer hooks, I don't use uh, fancy equipment. I just use an up-eye long shank hook something like that I straighten out the bend and clip off the point because during fly tying sometimes I cut myself with the point so that's where we're going to go from here have a good day